Well, who do we have here? It is the best kitchen helper ever. <gasps> Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, buddies. You gotta chew on your sister's ears. Yeah, you tell her. You tell her. Why you gotta chew on her? Kira, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Aren't you glad we got you a puppy? It's like, mm, you can take her back now. Gosh, you love her. I know you do. <laughs> So, yesterday you guys saw, what, you got some moves for us? Yesterday you guys saw that we were making some treats for the dogs and I wanna show you how they turned out. So I still have to take them all out of the mold and, stop, you can't have one. I still have to take them all out of the mold and put them into the bowl and get photos and let the dogs try them, but they turned out so cute, just like the originals. Here's the finished product if you guys wanted to see it, that's what it looks like. Apparently, we got a box. I'm gonna go see what's here. I was right, we got a box. So the next portion of today's video is sponsored by our amazing friends at HelloFresh. You excited there's a box? She's like, what, there's a box? I would like to check out that box. And of course, as always, if you guys would like to get your own HelloFresh box, you can go to hellofresh.com and use the code 50 SnowDogsVlogs for 50% off plus free shipping. Let's see what we got in the box. So if you don't know, HelloFresh actually has over 40 recipes on their website every week. Family friendly, fit and wholesome. You're always gonna find something new and exciting to try, so you should definitely check out their website. As you can see here, as I'm emptying the box, everything comes portioned and packaged in ice, which is really nice. And as you know, right now I'm getting ready to go on a trip, so I've been super busy, so it's really nice to not have to run to the store to buy all these things. I can just have it shipped right to the house. All the stuff is ready to go. Like I said, pre-portioned, easy step-by-step -step recipes, delivered right to your door. Saves me so much time. So what did we get? We got buffalo chicken mozzarella. I mean, that could be lunch, could be dinner. That looks delicious. Zucchini and tomato flatbread. Okay, that looks good. And lemony spaghetti with Brussels sprouts. Oh, that looks really good too. So the nice thing about these, as I've said before, there's your prep time, there's your cook time. Look, this one, 15 minutes. 15 minutes and it's done. And yes, it says lunch, but you never know. We might have these for dinner. So stick around to find out what we have. And I think Greg is sticking around for dinner as well. These meals that I get are actually a four person meal. So they're perfect for if Jamie and I wanna make them and have leftovers or on nights like today where Greg has showed up. We have enough food to feed all three of us with a little bit of leftover. So stick around to find out what we make. Hi, it's like, I don't fit in this box. Remember when we used to put you inside the HelloFresh box? You're a little too big for that now. So the girls are having their lunch and I wanna to talk to you guys again about some more of that typical Michigan weather. So it said no rain for today. Huh, literally said no rain. I mean, maybe I just don't know what rain looks like, but uh, it's raining. The guys were gonna go take the e-bikes out, out by uh, out by Greg's house. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. We're probably, we'll eat before they leave. And then I think I'm gonna stay here with the dogs while they go do that. But. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna do that because it keeps raining on and off, even though it still says no rain for today. Oh, Michigan. If you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. It was raining, and now it's not raining. Again, it's like so weird. I don't know, it is what it is. But I think they're gonna go, I think we're gonna eat. And I think they're gonna go biking. The pool is closed today because it, the weather doesn't know what on earth it wants to do. Oh, squirrel! He's already out of the yard, girls. He's way over there. Well, who do we have here? It is the best kitchen helper ever. Do we need merch that says that? <laughs> best kitchen helper ever. And who else do we have here? Second best kitchen helper ever. Now, there's no oven or anything on, but let's go figure out where the worst kitchen helper ever is. There you are. She's like, you know guys, I may be the worst kitchen helper ever, but I am the best couch warmer in the world. You know, you you are, yeah, you still have watermelon on your face. Are you the best couch warmer in the world? There's nothing on in there. You could come in there. She's like, um, no thanks. I will stay right here on the couch forever and ever. And if you turn that dang oven hood fan on, I'm gonna go run down the hallway and hide. Okay, boop. Oh, oh, more, more? Would you like some more? Okay, is that enough? Oh, you are very mad that I petted you for two seconds and stopped. Oh, the good scritches, the good scritches. There's the face with the good scritches. 
Yeah, okay, I gotta go make some dinner, lunch slash dinner for the boys so that uh, they can take you guys on a biking adventure. I am gonna stay here with the dogs because uh, I don't really wanna go out in the rain and get wet. <laughs> and it's like food roulette today. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We're making this. They all requested this. It actually looks pretty good. So, and since we're eating kind of early, yeah, we might munch on something later, but we're gonna make the buffalo chicken mozzarella melts. Everything we need, minus the chicken, of course, is right here in this bag. All right, got our tomatoes sliced, got our spicy mayo made. Time to put the chicken on. We got the chicken on. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, right. go for it. Gotcha. It looks good. It does. You guys, Smells good. You guys got to get your energies in so you can mm -hmm. go bike riding. Hmm. Good but it took me like ten minutes to make. Yeah. Good. I was worried that good? part of my eating my Yeah, I was worried <laughs> the sauce might be a little uh, heavy, but it's it's not. No, no, it's just like a red hot and mayo mix. So I could probably it's not very hot. Yeah, you could probably put more on. It's not super <laughs> hot. Yeah, you, you're good for that. All right, we're eating, mm -hmm. we're eating our food. So dinner was amazing. Like I said, saves me time. I didn't have to go to the store. If you guys would like to get your own HelloFresh box, you can go to hellofresh.com and use the code 50SnowDogsVlogs for 50% off your order and free shipping. There will also be a link down in the video description below. Dinner was pretty good. You little sneaker, get around there. Get back around there. I was locking you in there for a reason. Locking you in here for a reason. All right. The boys are gonna go bike riding. Don't worry, they're gonna take the vlog. They might even go geocaching while they're out there. I am gonna stay here, I think I already said that, but I am gonna stay here with the dogs. All right, go have fun. We are. <laughs> we will. I know we're gonna have fun where we're going. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna yesterday. All right, don't forget the vlog. All right, hello. Okay, bye, I love you, bye. Oh my goodness, you are officially the cutest thing. Oh, you had to move. Kira, you looked so comfy. I'm sorry, I took your pillow away. You were snuggling with Eleanor like you always snuggle with Memphis. It was super cute. Are we ready for three, two, one? Ready? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Oh, somebody's playing some loud music out there. Run, puppers, run. Oh, I gotta show this. So you guys know we've talked about how we fenced off the apple trees so we could hopefully actually have more apples this year. Let me show you why. Look at how low these branches are hanging on all of the trees. There are so many apples. So normally we let the dogs have access to all this and as the trees hang lower and lower and lower, they just eat all the apples. They're, they're loaded with apples this year too. But every one of these trees, is the branches are almost touching the ground. Uh, next year, Jamie is going to try to trim these trees up a little bit. You can see like that big branch is dead. This tree itself is dead. And I think we're going to plant two more trees back here. Possibly. No, we're not having apples. Sorry, but they're definitely getting to the point. Oh my goodness. I can't believe they're getting so big so fast. Apple season is almost here. And it's also acorn season, which means we had, oh look, somebody was chewing on this one. We have to go around with the acorn picker-upper and pick up all the acorns so the dogs don't eat them. Acorns aren't necessarily like, I mean, they are bad if the dogs eat a whole bunch of them. I mean, if they eat one or two here or there, it's usually okay. But see, they have like this point on them. That's not good. The caps aren't good. They can get digestive upset. They can get like stuck in their intestines and all, oh, and all that stuff. So we do try to keep them picked up. Also, I want to mention, holy cow, what a temperature change between when the guys left and now. It has probably dropped 10 degrees, like so much so I put long pants on. Oh, I also have my, couldn't find my shoes, so I put my muck boots on even though it's not mucky. Whew, all right. Uh, I also wanted to tell you guys, it didn't rain anymore. It just still looks like it's gonna. Come on, let's go back inside. All right, so we got the bikes. We got Greg's bike, we got Greg, and we're gonna go hit uh, trails, bike trail, a pathway. And it's just us, just us here in the parking lot. Nobody else, a little bathroom if we need it. But we'll take you along and we'll see. <laughs> so here we are on the trail. This is, I think, the beginning of it. Uh, I missed the map. It's right behind us. There's a little bench there, but all right, I'll let you go first. I'll just follow you. Here we go. That is downhill. Woo! 
<laughs> oh yeah, I see it. Well, hey, look. As soon as I gave it a little bit of juice, I knew I shouldn't have. <laughs> and Greg's probably right. We probably could have moved this by hand, but we knew it was here, so we brought our little saw. Check it out. The little guy's going to do it real quick here. Pretty much cut itself. I mean, I wouldn't do that with a gasoline chainsaw, but I mean, maybe I would. I don't know. Pretty much the same thing. God, it's so beautiful back here. Look at you. Look at you. Somebody, somebody's gonna come back here and take them logs. That's I know. That's some perfect firewood right there. But I don't have my. I don't have my state land permit yet. As I say, uh, it's really easy to do. All you do is uh, go down to the DNR or call them and you can get a permit to claim down woods. Did you know that? Now you do. Firewood. All right, we're gonna keep on cutting. Okay, so we removed the log out of the path and I just remembered we have geocaches or there's geocaches out yeah so it's not far we're there and it's right up ahead of us so we're gonna go up the trail and see if we can find it all right so we are getting really close okay greg found it where is it at oh okay oh, i see it so there we are hidden here so we're gonna open this up and write our names in it and check it out a whole bunch of little toys in there. Any Hot I Wheels? Should have, oh, we'll I should have grabbed a little on. toy. Yep. I might have one in my backpack. Hang on. <laughs> All right, I'm sure man. I got something. There's a log book and a pen. So Greg's going to find something to put a trade in and I'll sign the log book. All right, so I signed the log book and we left the dice in there. And I'm going to go back. So here we go. On to the next. So we found the BMX trail. Through the valley, as you can see, it tapers both directions. Got Greg behind me. Ready, Greg? Yeah, I think uh, so. I, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go first, so here we go. Uh -huh, Alright, let's rock the tree down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Oh, that's tight. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so far, and that looks like the spot. I think that's the trail up there. Okay, I was gonna say, it looks like somebody's trying to go up your direction that you just tried going, but the main path I think is down yeah, here. Yeah, I think that's the main path. But that was fun. All right, let's uh, keep going. So we keep doing them valleys. That's pretty fun. Oh, there's a line. I don't know if you've seen it, but the line pushed me. Did I it? Dumped, yeah. Oh, oh, I did. Uh, <laughs> then you pedal assist. <laughs> Shut that off. That's, I almost hit you. I wasn't just even now. holding the bike. <laughs> I almost hit you just now too because of that. Oh, pedal assist. How fun. Ooh, look at what we found. Oh, I don't know if you can see. There you can see them. So we have raspberries, and they're somewhere. Okay, here. We also have growing right here blackberries. So. Look at all of them. Them are all that will be all blackberries. So this is definitely a patch we might have to remember come blackberry season. There's a few raspberries here, so we're gonna pick a few and eat them. Uh oh yeah, here's where more blackberries. Oh man, there's gonna be so many blackberries here. So many blackberries. Ooh, I might have to. This one, I don't know, they might not be ready. I'm gonna try this one. Oh yeah, that one's ready. I'm gonna try it. They're all ready. Oh, you're, that's all you're getting? Oh, there's raspberries here. I too. know. <laughs> but I find more blackberries, so I've been picking them. I'm not slowing down. All right. I gotta start picking. And we're back on the bikes. This is that, this is the woods where you said the ferns were yeah. all growing. Yeah, you're right. Without the underbrush, it's all ferns. It's almost sunset time. That was a, that was a good, good little ride. I think uh, I'm gonna put the camera down because I haven't been holding it in my mouth for you guys. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. So I dropped Greg off at his farm. Oh, hi, Katie, Katie, Katie. Oh, pretty kitties. Hi, Katie, Katie, Katie. What? Oh, this is green at all. The red is red, though. And the purple is very purple. There's an orange and a yellow. And a gold. 
that, uh, which isn't I, a green, it's more of a teal. It, and then it, there's a blue. It's They're slightly color changing, so I think the inside of that roll might be a little bit more green. I don't know. No, these really were the soap blue. ones, not the color changers. I still think that they, I mean, it's still pretty cool. We'll see. We'll see what it prints out as, because it can come a little different out of the machine. Right. Um, almost got a sunset. Yeah, yeah, pretty soon. Yep, pretty soon. I'll be, I'll be home just in time to get a sunset, I guess, so... That was fun. Bye. Gee, do you know? What? How do you know? How? I don't understand. Do you know that Dad's home? Do you know that Dad made it back and he wants to take you girls for a walkie? You, they're like freaking out at the window, huh? I know. <laughs> All right, let's get ready to go look for the bunnies. Man, Eleanor, nothing makes you quiet. You got a horse fly trying to bite you in the ear. She's already tried to eat it like three times. It's, you guys probably can't see it on the camera, but there is a horse fly. Yeah, if it lands on her ear, you'll see it turn back. And try to bite yeah, she'll try to bite it. She's already tried to eat it a few times. What are you doing, Kira? I didn't see no bunnies. I was looking. I see Miss Sadie girl. Hi, Miss Sadie girl. And we have found the bunny. Well, at least one bunny. Oh, here come the bunny hops. Ooh, even Memphis sees that bunny way out there? Yeah. Eleanor's like, I see that bunny. He's way over there. He's got a little bunny wiggle butt. Is he gonna go or is he gonna, does he know you guys can't get him? I think he knows. Oh, nope, he moved. <laughs> We're out. We seen a bunny. Like, yeah, let's go find some more bunnies. More bunnies! <laughs> There's two over here. Yeah, they, they all see them. They're like, oh man. Let's see, can we see the bunnies? There they are. I hope that's not on my camera, but I might have a dead pixel on my phone. <laughs> my pixel might have a dead pixel. That's okay. It's almost time for a new one anyway. Whee! Let's go! Bunny hops. False alarm. It was a piece of glitter. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Who put glitter on my phone? It was, it was a piece of blue glitter. Oh, we were out on that trail, and uh -huh. we were on a wooden bridge, and putty, somebody uh, sprinkled little golden stars oh my gosh. all over the wooden bridge, so it was, it, that was pretty cool. I still want to do the trick where we take the glow-in-the-dark rocks and go down a fun trail and right. sprinkle glow-in-the-dark rocks for some kids. I think that'd be so fun. <laughs> I don't think your honey friend is out. Oh, I, I'm wrong. She is out. I was gonna say, it might be a little, I guess it's not really that late. I'm just used to it being light till 10.30 at night. Yeah, no, it's... Now we're getting into the shorter days. Summer's ending. We need to go camping. We do. Yeah, let's go. After I get back from Vegas, we gotta go somewhere. Hi, honey. She's like, look at me. I'm the happiest dog on the planet. Look how happy I am. I am so happy. All right, girls. Chill out in the ACs. We're gonna go take the bikes for a ride. You wanna go for another bike ride? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do it. All right, you girls chill out. We'll be back. So we rushed to the ice cream shop before they closed. Yeah. Look, there's that Superman ice cream again. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I kinda want cookie dough, but I feel like I can get cookie dough anywhere. All right, I'm changing my mind again, hon. I could get that Scout Honor Mint cookie. That looks good, too. Oh, I just don't know. Yeah, I got it. Jamie's getting that. He's getting am Amaretto Cherry Moose Tracks. That's what he's getting. Now, I could just go with my Estimo Kisses. That is my favorite. <gasps> Wait, what is this? Mm. Oh, it's caramel ice cream, though. Mm. Maybe yes. I'll try yeah, it. that one looks good. Okay, I'm going to try that one. That's what I'm going to get with hot fudge on it. Oh, it's kind of dark out here, but I got Pirate's Beauty and Jamie got Cherry Amaretto and we got some strawberry soda. And then there's the building that the ice cream shop is in if you've never seen it. <laughs> and there's the sanctuary. And there's some people across from us that literally went to the popcorn, went to the movie theater just to get popcorn. <laughs> Not going to see a movie, just to get popcorn. I mean, I'm all about that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I'm going to eat this before it melts. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a look at our our cute little downtown at night. Mm -hmm. It's not Christmas time. At Christmas time, all the trees have lights, but it is cute at night. I, lo I love the theater sign. I love it. I can't wait to see what he does with the old Maltz Theater down there. You can see the State Street Theater way down there. Once that sign gets lit up again, that'll be really cool. But anyway, we're packing up, heading back to the house. We made it back! 
Hi, hello. We were not gone that long. We literally were gone 40 minutes and that was it. Come on. I know, you girls wanna go back outside again? Even though you were just out there because you just went on your walk? What? Sorry, we didn't bring you home any ice cream. I'm sorry. One more time outside before bed? Let's do it. It's so much nicer out now. Oh, and there's bugs and dog hair. It feels like fall. You can't see the, the stars, but trust me, they're there. And there's a smudge on the camera too. All right, I think with that, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. I gotta wash the water, wash the dog's water dishes, and then we're going to bed. So we're just gonna go ahead and call it here. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Good night, audience. You girls look exhausted after your walk. All right, we're sleeping. Just leave us alone. Okay, you stay sleeping. Good night, audience.